Hello, how is it going for all my inky friends out there in the world of fountain pens? You got Larry here, the AKA pin bug guy with Larry's fountain pen reviews. I'm back, back in the saddle again. And I purchased a pen from uh, Frank from Federalist Pens. Great guy. If you have never met Frank, if you don't know Frank, get to know him. Just a real super nice guy, okay? He has the same dream as we do. Pins. He's a pin enthusiast. His heart's in it. As our hearts are in it, or we wouldn't be buying fountain pens, right? So, buy from whoever you want. That's your, that's your business. But I'm just saying, he's one of my go-to guys that I buy from occasionally. So, here we go. When I saw this pen on his side, it was a must for me. I, I had to have it. Okay? So, it comes in this box. It's a Monteverdi, one of my favorite uh, pens. And it comes in a cardboard green sleeve. And uh, on the side, it does say Monteverdi and Giant Sequoia fountain pen. But not just any Giant Sequoia, as far as I'm concerned. It comes in a nice leather... Uh, casing with the Monteverdi logo and the name nicely done I love the stitching around the pin case nothing on the bottom so let's open this jewel up and what's inside BAM nothing it sits on a nice cushion to keep the pin safe and in the back on the inside it does have again the logo and Monteverdi and you flip this up, and it does come with not one, but two cartridges. And your little booklets about the pen, instructions, warranties, all that good jazz you need to know and have about the pen. But enough of that said, because I'm sure not you're not here to listen to me ramble on as I always do. You want to see the real deal. So where is the real deal? Well, that's coming up right about now. Look at this beautiful pen. Gorgeous, isn't it? I think it is a stunning fountain pen. The measurement of this beautiful giant sequoia measures length close as you see it here 5.87 inches I'm sorry 5.68 inches I stand corrected my apologies and posted it's 6.78 inches the weight of the pin 33.8 G's weighs a little bit more because I have a little bit of ink in there so a little bit about the pen this is the newest color lineup in their edition and you can find this pen at, or where I bought my pen was over at uh, Federalist Pens. And Frank is the owner there. The solid, sole, single survivor. Does one heck of a job. Really a nice man you need to meet, get to know. Uh, I purchased this pen from him. And uh, really a beautiful pen. A beautiful, stunning turquoise. The giant sequoia. So, the pen is made out of resin. And striped patterns and earthy tones. So, you know, when you visit the National Park, you'll see the sequoia. It's a massive trunks that uh, the visitors will notice and this is where this beautiful pen was named after and it has a great design and it just feels really nice in the hand it has a nice balance in the hand as well and 
This can definitely be used as a daily writer. I've been writing with it for some time to make sure that it was or meant to be a daily writer, not just a pen you write with and put it up and you forget it. No, not this pen at all. Uh, the pen came with two standard cartridges and a converter included. And the nip sizes, they come in at, depending if the seller carries the sizes, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 medium stub. And I do like the polished chrome, and it has a, a nice wide band on the bottom of the cap that has Monteverde USA and Sequoia on the back, really nicely done. It has a nice clip. Now, the clip is a bit tight, so you're going to have to open it up a little bit and put it in your pocket. But once it's there, it's not going nowhere. At the top of the cap of the pen, it's totally flat. So, I guess, let's try that. Bam, there you go. You can stand it up. And as you go down the barrel, it kind of tapers off a little bit right in here. So, for those who want to post, can. They can post their pen. Giant Sequoia. So, as we unscrew the barrel, And you come down that barrel, there's really not much of a step off. You're going to feel the threads, but that's where the pin screws on to the barrel. And they're not sharp. And then there's the grip. It's not a big grip. And, of course, I have small fingers, so it's perfect for me. But sometimes I tend to hold my pin here when I write. Why? Don't ask me why. I guess just a habit. So, it's not annoying or uncomfortable as well. And let's talk about this nib. The nib has the Monteverdi logo, and it has Monteverdi on it, USA, and M on the side for medium. Can you get a close-up less shot, Mr. Announcer, there? Uh, yeah, without the light. Without the light? How's that? Okay. All right. And then there's the feed. So let's unscrew the barrel, and it does come with a converter like I mentioned and the converter now remember this converter now screws in and screws out so you don't want to pull on it you screw it in and I like that about the Monteverdi pins because you know once you screw it in it's not going to fall out so and I will get this little baby ready to go for us here in a second. All right. And I will show you the ink I'm using. And I will let Mr. Announcer pronounce the ink as well. So we're all, all ready to go just about. Okay. Now let me pull out the ink for you. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. And you are hiding right there. I believe this is the J. Herburn 1798 series. Can you make that name out? Kyanite du Nepal. Really a beautiful ink. Love the color of this ink. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I love the ink bottle. Nice glass ink bottle. Beautiful bottle. So they put out some really beautiful inks as well as their bottles. So, what do you say? Let's get to writing. So, here we go. And what does it look like posted? Just like that. All right. 
So, let's go here. Oh, okay. Here we go. La. This is a medium nib. All right. And then we'll do a few little swirls here. Now a little wetness. And it's not a real wet nib. But it does lay down the nib, uh, ink, I'm sorry. Reverse writing. You can get some reverse writing from it to like an, a fine, but on some of the letters, it tends to thin out some, but still a great writer. And I've been using it for a while already. I've really enjoyed it. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to try a different ink on it and check for wetness. It has a nice nib. Here's the downstroke. That's with pressure. Now, no pressure. So here's with pressure. No pressure. And the cross stroke. Okay. So... It's got a good ink flow. Now, I will try to put some other, maybe more wetter inks in it and see how the nib will react to it. And if it doesn't get as wet as I like, I'll just make it a little bit more wetter. But uh, this is a perfect rider. There's nothing wrong with it. It has, you know, decent ink flow. Great looking pen. You know, love the look, the feel. Uh, it's just a stunning fountain pen. And it's affordable, too. So, if you want a decent writer, a nice-looking pen, you might want to check this out. And what's also good about this kind of pen, if you have other writers in your hands, and it's hard for you to hold thinner pens, you need a more girthier type of pen, then uh, you might want to try out this pen or other uh girthier pens that would help you uh, enjoy a fountain pen. I know there's a lot of people out there that have author writers in their hand. It's really hard for them to hold a pen. Uh, and they have thin ones. I hear these stories all the time. But uh, when they hold, when they get a hold of a girthier pen such as this, it, it just overwhelming for them because they love it because they can hold the pen easier because of the girthiness of the pen. Well, that's my story. I hope you like my journey. And check out Frank at Federalist Pens and see what you like. Ink it up. Stay safe. 
Wash them hands, as always. Don't text and drive. Hasta la vista, baby. Later.